Now, in itself, the experience of, of becoming attached to, to, to someone is not a problem. Actually, all, if you look at it, and this is perhaps uh, something that, that uh, it's a bit uh, challenging thought, if you look at it, all of the negative experiences that we, that we are going through are because they all started with positive experiences. You see? Because we experience, for instance, uh, grief and loss. You experience that, that, that something is yours, that something is a, is a part of you, or that something will never leave you. And, and there is, this is enhancing, this is empowering, but, but, but because life is only composed of these two opposites, these two annoying opposites, you see, because to have the experience of life possible at all, the divinity has ha had to divide, the, the divide life into, into, uh, into opposite forces so that there will be friction. Life itself is friction, is the, the dynamic. Things move on because of this friction. So then you have men and women, for instance. You have, you have hatred and love. You have abundance, and, and, but to, to have abundance, you have also have to, have to have poverty, you see? You have to have suffering if you want to have happiness. It's just not possible otherwise. Without opposites, there is no world. The whole creation collapses. So can anyone excuse, excuse us for wanting one half and disliking the other? But of course, when you merge with life, that is maturity. You become, you embrace these two opposites. You stop choosing. So, so attachment is just like that. It starts beautifully and, and it's good to have. It's a part of our our value and beauty as human beings. Although also animals have attachments, of course. So the thing is that is the question is when comes the point when, when it becomes misery? And it becomes misery whenever there are cracks in our attachment, right? we are some, some, suddenly we might be abandoned by that person. Suddenly that person has their own will and is, is unkind or doesn't share our passion. So there is a sense of separation. Suddenly this person doesn't share your attachment. I have a child. The child, I am attached to the child and the child is attached to me. But then the child grows. Hmm? And the child begins to, to challenge me and to give me misery and so on and so on. And suddenly there is terrible distance and there is, there is quarrel. And then there is the painful time in which the child spreads their wings and are gone. So... Can I be attached, but only in the beautiful sense, while preparing myself completely for the letting go? Now, how do I know that I'm attached in a, in a bad way, that, that, that the attachment has become corrupted, in a sense, that it has become psychologically loaded it's when I will get, receive enough signs of this, you see. Life will show me all the time. So 
If you move to the other extreme of saying, oh, I shouldn't be attached. Why? Because attachment is painful. That's fear of life. You see? That's the thing. Whenever something is painful, we say, I shouldn't be. I should stop uh, 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 attaching myself. I should be um, uh, only accepting or whatever. So can you be not fear, of, not fear attachment? Be with it and just make sure, just like you know, you are cultivating a garden, making sure that uh, there, there are no uh, uh, what is called the bed weeds around, uh, uh, growing and, and interfering with the beauty of, the, the, of your garden, the cleanliness of the garden and, and ruin, damaging everything else. Can I, can I keep this garden of, of attachment clean and, and beautiful? Because it's a flower. So just, just remove the weeds around it. Every time you, you feel that something is, is beginning to, to make it forceful, violent, inattentive, hypersensitive, demanding, and so on. The easiest thing is to close, them or to close my heart and to say, I will never get attached again. This is the easiest thing. This is what we all do. We all make these vows all the time. I will never get attached again. I will never trust again. I will never love again. I will never uh, uh, expose my heart again. That's the easiest. The most difficult is to, is to Not stop the flow, but take the risk of pain, you see? Now, if you know how to enter pain, you will not fear pain, right? So if you say, yes, okay, there will be pain. If there will be pain, then I will only be reminded of my own misunderstanding and I will jump right into it, into the heart of pain and it, it will transform me. So then there is no longer fear of pain. <laughs>